Hi kids! Today we are going to visualize division of fraction. Fractions are well understood if it's represented by a circle or rectangular shape. It is easier to visualize as such as halves, thirds, quarter, or those denominators that has more factors such as eights and twelves. Using fraction strip will help you visualize fractions. How do we visualize division of fractions? Example, 1 8 divided by 2. So, para ma-visualize natin ang division of fraction, first step natin, i-visualize muna natin yung 1 8. So, ito yung 1 8. So, it is divided into 8 equal parts. And then, yung shaded part niya ay isa lamang kasi ayun ang ating numerator. Next step natin, kuhanin natin yung 1 8. So, ito yung ating 1 8. 1 8 divided by 2. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating hatiin yung 1 8 sa dalawa. Nahati na natin yung ating 1 8 sa dalawa. Next natin, para ma-present natin ng mas maayos, kailangan din nating hatiin yung ating isang buo sa dalawa. Nahati na natin. So, bilangin natin kung ilang parte ba ang nabuo sa ating isang buo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, it is divided into 16 equal parts. So, ibig sabihin, 16 ang ating denominator. So, ilang parte ba o ano bang hinahanap na bahagi natin? So, isa lamang ang hinahanap natin. So, ishade natin yung isa para maipresenta natin ng mas maayos ay ishade din natin ito doon sa ating isang buo. So, ito na yung ating numerator. So, ang sagot natin, 1 8 divided by 2 is equals to 1 over 16. Let's have another example. 1 half divided by 5. So, first step natin, i-visualize natin yung 1 half. So, ito yung 1 half. Kuhanin natin yung kalahati. Then, 1 half divided by 5. So, hatiin daw natin into 5 equal parts. So, nahati na natin. Para maipresent natin ng mas maayos, ay hatiin din natin sa 5 yung ating isang buo. So, ilan na lahat-lahat ang equal parts niya? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ibig sabihin, 10 ang ating denominator kasi it is divided into 10 equal parts. So, ano bang parte ang hinahanap natin? So, ang parte hinahanap natin ay isa lamang. So, isa lang ang ating may shade. Doon sa taas ay lagyan din natin ng isa na shaded part. So, ang ating sagot sa 1 half divided by 5 ay 1 10 or 1 over 10. Fractions are way to represent parts of a whole. It is written in A over B. The denominator B is the number of equal parts the whole has been divided into. And the numerator indicates how many parts are included. Let's write this as a fraction. 3 divided by 2. So our numerator in here is 3 and the denominator is 12. So that is 3 over 12. Meron pa tayong common factor ng 3 at 2. Well, so, ang common factor niya ay 3. So, pwede pa nating i-simplify or i-lowest term. 
So 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1. Then 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4. So ang lowest term niya is 1 fourth. So i-visualize naman natin. So ito yung pag-visualize. Yung ating isang buo is divided into 12 equal parts. And then yung shaded part niya ay tatlo. 1, 2, 3. So, ayun yung ating numerator. So, etong ating figure ay 3 over 12 or 1 fourth. Dividing simple fraction, whole number by fraction and vice versa. When dividing a whole number by a fraction, you are finding how many groups of the fraction you can fit in the whole? To divide the whole number by a fraction, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 5 divided by 1 half. So, first step, find the reciprocal of the divisor. So, ang divisor natin dito ay itong 1 half. So, yung divisor, it is the number that is being divided by. So, 1 half yung ating divisor. So, kukunin lang daw natin yung reciprocal ng divisor natin. So, pag sinabi natin reciprocal, ito ay yung interchange ng numerator and denominator. We interchange the numerator and the denominator. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin. So, 1 half becomes 2 over 1. Next step, multiply the dividend 5 by the reciprocal 2 over 1. So that is 5 over 1 times 2 over 1. So in multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators. So that is 5 times 2 is equals to 10, then 1 times 1 is equals to 1. So our answer is 10 over 1 or 10. Let's have another example. 10 and 1 half divided by 3 fourths. First step, find the reciprocal of the divisor. So, ang divisor natin dito ay 3 fourths. So, we are going to interchange the numerator and the denominator. So, 3 fourths becomes 4 thirds. Next step, change mixed number to improper fraction. So, yung dividend natin ay mixed number. So, gagawin natin siyang improper fraction. So, multiply natin yung ating denominator by the whole number, then add natin yung numerator. So, 2 times 10 is equal to 20. Then, plus 1 is equals to 21. Then, copy lang natin yung ating denominator na 2. So, 10 and 1 half becomes 21 over 2. Now, i-multiply na natin. So, 21 over 2 times 4 over 3. So, in multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. Or pwede natin gawin yung cancellation method kapag meron siyang common factor. Yung 4 and 2, may common factor yan na 2. So, divide lang natin pareha sa 2. 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. Then, 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1. So, tingnan natin yung 21 and yung 3. Meron din siyang common factor. So, common factor na din ay 3. So, divide lang natin pareha sa 3. 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1. Then, 21 divided by 3 is equals to 7. So, 7 times 2 is equals to 14. Then, 1 times 1 is equals to 1 or 14. So, kids, ayun na yung ating lesson. So, nag-divide tayo at nag-visualize ng division ng fractions. Sana may natutunan kayo. The only way to learn mathematics is do mathematics. Bye!